All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol WKHS, Workhorse Group, Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back. And let's jump into this chart. So, Workhorse had a recovery after hitting these lows of about $20 and some change. I'd write that down anywhere around $20.40, $20.30. If that gets broken through, we could start to see newer lows. And today we saw some new lows after this recovery of almost hitting $28 and some change. And since then, we've been in a very bearish trend. It actually broke through the 50 day moving average several times before it continued. And then it finally broke through it. It leveled off on it. We broke through it again today and it fell. So this has been a very volatile last couple of days. And yesterday, even though it was kind of sideways, it has been jumping up and down. And struggling to maintain itself above the 50 day moving average. I mean, the highest point in the last three days was 2540, and now today was way up here at 2513. So you can write those numbers down as a point of reference to know which way this is going, but we're going to look at this much more zoomed in and see what's important for tomorrow. So honestly, we hit a new low here. In the last couple of days in this bearish run after the recovery of hitting close to 28 at 2214 that's an important number that gets broken through this could start to see newer lows it quickly recovered it hit these highs leveled off and now the bears are just taking this one down slowly but surely throughout the day so let's move our resistance and support to their new locations our resistance up here and our support is actually down here it's the lowest point before the recovery i mean it hit a lower point down here you can write that down but before the recovery of spiking up leveling off and starting to fall now is down here so the first support level that the bears are going to want to break through is 2265 if they accomplish that we are definitely deeper into bearish territory and the bears are dominating the chart by trying to hit newer lows and newer support levels so that's something to keep in mind and bear in mind and pay very close attention to how this stock is reacting even if it breaks through where it's at right now and how quickly is it getting closer to the support level and if it crosses 2265 how quickly is it moving to newer lows is it leveling off are the bears actually losing control and the bulls reappeared and brought it back up those are the things to pay close attention to as this one plays out as it gets closer to support or even if it breaks through it because breaking through 2265 the bears have definitely brought this further away from the 50 day moving average in a downward direction and our 50 day moving average is 2418 and write that down because 2418 is super important it lets us know on what side of the chart we're in are we in bearish territory are we in bullish territory and who is dominating this chart as of right now the bears are dominating this and it could be on its way to newer lows if it breaks through newer support levels or it gets closer to them further away from the 50 day moving average of 2418 in a downward direction if we end up above it the bulls are starting to gain control so this tug of war will be interesting as this plays out in the next couple of hours until post market closes and also pre-market and how the market opens up tomorrow throughout the day now on the other hand we have what the bulls want the bulls are going to want to first break through the 50 day moving average of 2418 get back into bullish territory and work their way up to newer highs and by accomplishing getting back into bullish territory they have to break the resistance level to confirm and stay above it and get further away from it so they can continue the rally and the momentum and the first resistance level after breaking through the 50-day moving average is 2478 if the bulls can accomplish this they accomplish two things they broke through the 50-day moving average getting into bullish territory and they broke through the first resistance level that is super important for the bulls to use as support and start to work their way up to newer highs and newer resistance levels the highest point again up here as i stated earlier at 25 13 25 12 super important number because that's the highest peak here and if the bulls can accomplish that they broke through the 50 day moving average they've moved further away from it in an upward direction and they've broken through two resistance levels and turning them into supports to reach newer highs and newer levels of resistance as always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell by turning on all notifications to not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. 
And don't forget to hit the like button and let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video and I go into detail about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising up several points on scheduled dates. What happens on those scheduled dates, which are the dates that I circled here on the chart and we're going to see for ourselves. Well, the S&P 500 index rises up several points and by doing so, they're bringing up several ticker symbols, not all of them, but most of them up with them. And these ticker symbols are rising up 30 cents to $3 per share. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but per share that does add up. And one thing I am really big on is profits. If you put a dollar into the market and you get out with $2, you've made profits. You've done what the whole purpose of being in the market is for to maximize profits and minimize losses. And with the federal reserve pumping the markets on these scheduled dates, bringing the S and P 500 index up, also brings up individual ticker symbols with them and again 30 cents to three dollars may not sound like a lot of profit per share but that does add up and like i say profits are profits so we're going to look here at some of the dates so that you guys can see what i talk about in the video and it's a weekly series i wouldn't want you guys to miss out on it definitely click on the video as it pops up at the end of the video and check it out but here we are with one of the first pumps in the scheduled dates pumps. So the first one, since the last time that they had released this, they released this on September 14th and the next one's coming up on October 14th, which is like a week from now. And on the 15th, they scheduled it. And as you can see, this is the 14th and the 15th is this big green bar and it rose up. So on the 14th, we were at around 33.84 and it rose up to 3420. I mean, that's 40 points risen on the S&P 500 index. And that's creating that catalyst for individual ticker symbols to rise up 30 cents to $3. We're going to look at another one here. And the next one was on September 22nd. And here we are on the 21st after falling from that last pump and the market had been falling. And you could see that there is volatility on every single day of the market before the dates of the pumps, but on the dates of the pumps are the days that the most green happens for the most part, not every time, but for the most part. But on the 21st, which was a Monday, it was rising up and it rose up to this point here. And the next one was the 22nd. So this is the last 21st candlestick and this is the first 22nd candlestick. And we were at 3270. This one rose up all the way up here to this point right here this was the last 22nd candlestick to 3319 i mean if we go back we were at 3270 3319 that's almost 50 point jump here for the s p 500 index and again individual ticker symbols rose up with it and it created that catalyst a little bit before the anticipation and on that date it rose up now on this next pump which was a little bit different. There was a catalyst formed beforehand and it rose up to these highs on the 28th of about 33.59. It actually dipped on the date of the next pump, which we see it here, which was on the 29th of September. And the next one was on the 6th, which just happened yesterday. And it actually slightly dipped. Now, not every time is these pumps going to rise up the market like we've seen here by a lot of points but it still rises it back up or levels it off from hitting newer lows and leveling off the market itself. Because if we look at the previous notes that I did beforehand, it was actually rising up with it. The volatility was there, but you were able to buy, like for example, how we bought here on the 15th and it rose up. Well, it's been falling and then very volatile here up and down. Beforehand, you can buy at the beginning of the schedule pump dates and hold a couple weeks and ride out several pumps and you were going on your way up but right now even as the market's going down it's a great opportunity to take advantage of the fact that the federal reserve is pumping the markets and there's an opportunity to make profits so here we are on the 29th and it fell to lows of 33.28 and it rose up to these highs here of 33.49 i know it doesn't sound like a lot but that's still a 20 point jump after dipping and recovering and then it continued to work its way up to newer highs now here on the sixth 
which on the 5th, it started to rise. It leveled off. This is the last candlestick of the 5th coming up right now. And we're about to see it here. Yes, this is the last candlestick of the 5th. And it rose up. And all the way to the last candlestick of the 6th, it rose up another 20 points. I mean, we're down here and it ended up around here. So right now, something I'm noticing is that these pumps are creating less of an effect on the market, but it's creating that upward direction from falling to newer lows, but it's still helping the market rise up. And even though the S&P 500 index is rising several points, there are individual ticker symbols rising up. Like I said, 30 cents to $3 check out the video i go into more detail i don't want you guys to miss out on this great information click on it and thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money